Hey guys, I'm Jen Dupree, and today I will be teaching you how to make these close cut shots 99.9% .9 of the time. So let's say we're playing nine ball, and we pocketed our eight, and now we're left with a cut shot on the nine. Nine to the side, there's no other pocket for the nine. Because if we hit off this point and come back to this corner down here, there's really no shot. And I wouldn't even classify that as a shot, that's just a hope. So, we need to learn how to cut these balls in, and cut these balls in with accuracy. You are never good at something until you can do it consistently. So, what we're going to do is learn the little system that is a surefire 99.99999% way to make this nine into this pocket. So first we're going to look at the two edges of the balls. We're not going to worry about this pocket for the whole shot. We're going to look at the two edges, just for a visual view right here. Here's two balls, cue ball, object ball. There's an edge here, there's an edge here. We're going to look at where these two edges line up. So, that'd be about right there. So then we'd aim through that point and just looking at that point. And then we'd hit the cue ball with bottom and then whatever direction we're cutting the ball. So this ball is going to the right, so we're using bottom right. So that'd be along this little diagonal line right here, bottom right, right there. So we just use a loose wrist, look at those two points, bottom right, and there we have it. Nine ball goes right into the pocket. Every time it will go right into the heart of that pocket. If you just focus on the two edges, what a lot of people do is they use this system. So let's say we have that cut shot. They look at the point and then they start worrying about the pocket and everything. And you see, we still kind of make it. Our cue ball follows it into the side. And we don't worry about those things. We, we only made that because of my ginormous side pockets. We hit off of that point and it just managed to roll in. But you never want to look at that pocket. That pocket is non-existent right now. We're just looking at the edges on the two balls so we can hit it with that back right and just cut it in. You can use center right, but let me show you what happens with center right. Let's say we're like this. Going to look at the two points. Ah, I need to. Let's say we're like this. Going to look at the two points where they line up. Your cue ball will fly all over the place. and just going to go up and down and up and down and up and down. And the problem with that is there's a corner over there oh, on that side, and there's a corner over there. So if you're off by just a little bit, you are going to scratch into one of those corners, and then the shot will be completely pointless, respot the nine, and basically just hand your opponent the plate on a silver platter. So you never want to do that. So let's move into a different example with this cut technique. So for this shot, let's take cue ball on the nine, and we're gonna line them up, and they're both in line like that. So we need to cut this nine into this pocket. So what we're gonna do is find where the two edges line up right there. Never take our eyes off of this point. Back right, nine ball goes into the heart every single time. So this is, again, this is a 99.9999999, not repeating, because that's 100, uh, but 99.99, and a lot of nines, but not repeating, <laughs> way to make this nine ball or any ball just straight into one of the corners or sides, just straight into one of the pockets. You can look at any way. Let's say we need to cut it that way. So you look at the two lineups. This would be hard. This would probably be hard because you need a bridge for that. But let's say they're lined up like so. We look at where the lines meet up, back right right into that pocket. So every single time it'll go into the pocket. Uh, so I'm gonna show you still different examples. I'm trying to show you every type of shot like this that I can, just to help you guys visualize it. Uh, and I'll also use back left a few times so you guys can see the other direction. Uh, so let's get right into that. So let's say we have that side pocket shot again, but now going the other way. So the nine balls like there, cue balls like that, and we need to cut it into this side. 
So, what do we do? Pause the video and say it. If you're back from pausing the video, we're going to aim where the two edges line up, back, left, right into the pocket. Every time. Only scratch you need to watch out for is that one right there and this corner right here. So, same thing if we're going in this direction. Trying to cut the nine to the left into that corner. Look at where the two edges line up. Don't even worry about the pocket. Never even think about that pocket. Let's try it with a tougher shot. Let's try it like this. Uh, let's put it like so. We're going to try to cut that two down there. So look at where the two edges line up. Just like that. Be nice to us. There we go. So you see, you can make this with every single shot. Every single shot that comes up like this, back left, back right, aim where the two edges of the balls line up. So I will try to get a like direct, direct camera view like down here. Uh, I don't know how good it will look. It depends on if it looks good or not, if I will put it into the video. But again, cue ball, object ball. Look to where the edges line up like this. This is the view that you should be seeing. So if they're like this, look at that. The two edges are lining up right there. So then you just shoot straight through. This ball goes into the pocket if you have that back and right and back and left. So this shot, aim for the edge, back right, back left. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. I want to take this time right here to demonstrate how you can improve your game with the IQ training ball. So right here, this is the IQ training ball. It says IQ on it. It has different marks. A for above center, C for center, B for below center, and then common English points right here that you will need to use throughout pretty much every game. So, one of the uses for this is to see if you're hitting exactly where you think you are. This is probably the biggest part of the pool. If you're not hitting the cue ball, let's say we want to hit directly center. So we shoot there, and we can see that our cue ball spins. It's spun to the left that time. And bam, what does the IQ show? We didn't hit center, we hit center left. So we would rub it off and then keep trying to hit center until we can do it consistently. Again, you are never good at something until you can do it consistently. So you would shoot and it sort of stopped right there. And look at that. We we're pretty darn close to directly center. Still a little bit of left on there. So now we see the problems with ourselves that we shoot more to the left when we think that we're hitting center. So now I can work on my game and try to correct that using this IQ. So you can set up these same shots over and over again, like if you want to hit where that three is, you hit that point. And you would check yourself. And look, I hit exactly on the three. So this is a great tool for improving your game. If you want to order one of these, they are $25. You can go to www.iqclinic.com. Also, I have a new sponsor. This is a super clear bridge. It looks like this right here. It says Jupiter Trick Shots on it. So if you are ever in a pool hall or if you're ever playing and you don't have an actual bridge, like if there's no bridge to play with, just pop one of these on a house cue or another one of your cues, and then you have a fully functioning bridge. So say can't reach this shot right here. We're gonna use the IQ and the bridge at the same time. You just lay it down. You got all these different points. If you need to jump, turn it over, jump like that. You need to shoot over a ball, turn it over, shoot like that. And then bam, you can shoot it. This is when you need high action. This is when you can use center. And here's if you need draw. So this bridge is really, really easy to use. It's just very convenient. It just slips right on your cue, slips right off. You can order one of these off of Facebook on Patrick Hutner's page, uh, Super Clear Bridges. I believe the page is called Handmade Super Clear Bridges. They're really beautiful, very hard to break. 
Uh, so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.